and I know you're just working on the shoulder. So uh, just basic uh, uh, use of the scope. Uh, they each kind of click into the uh, to your, your portal differently. This one is yeah, you got it at 180 degrees. That one. They're, they're all different. You just have to come through this. This is a 30 degree also. This is a 30 degree, and that's the common one. This is your light source, and it points the opposite direction of where you're actually at. Uh, we want to always keep the buttons to the horizontal of whatever we're looking at. So you don't do a lot of rotating with the scope stuff. And in, in the shoulder, especially, and the knee, a little bit less. Most of the work that you do is going to be just by rotation of the camera. You can see so much, you know. But you can you, you do have a little more freedom in the knee to move actually move around. Let's try looking at our medial compartment a little bit now, uh, in relation to, and we're going to look into the joint. We're going to look at the meniscus, which we can see. We see our medial femoral condyle. We see uh, meniscus or tibial plateau, um, and that's a good view. Typically, in a normal knee, uh, not a model, you won't see this far posteriorly. That, that'd be abnormal. That's a drive-through side. That's, that means that uh, there's probably some MCL and uh, uh, sprain, or there's meniscal, meniscal capsular separation. Something's going on. But in this case, this is a good view of the meniscus. Mm -hmm. um, so let's get our probe in. Let's start trying to So yeah, that's good. So you're looking down, you're feeling for any meniscus tears. Um, Sometimes you can, like, yeah, there'll be pieces that flip them off, you flip them off. Uh, you can see those. You get underneath, you get above the meniscus. Ooh, those are great ones. Um, so we have our ACL footprint here. It's going to attach. Uh, the ACL attaches on the medial aspect, the lateral femoral condyle, or medial, medial wall. And then PCL's behind it. You can sort of sweep your ACL and your PCL fibers running from the. Yeah, in this case, they're sort of attached to each other. And that'll happen a lot, too. It's, it's not like that they're just distinct structures. A lot of times you'll have a curtain and then a normal intercolumnar notch, a sheet of tissue that runs over top of it. That's called a ligament because that's normal. Yeah. It's tough. You can probe back there. Don't be afraid to just sweep things out of the way. Everybody, everybody else is not here. <laughs> no pressure. No, so get back as far as you can. You're probing your meniscus again. You're looking at some pathology, compartment of cartilage, any of those bodies. Uh, and, and one thing in the posterior lateral meniscus, uh, there's an intraarticular tendon that's going to run behind the meniscus between the capsule and the meniscus. Well, you know, and they're running between the. Oh, so it's, 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 it's intraarticular and it's behind the posterior lateral meniscus. Deep to it. Is that the only really uh, No, it's not. It's, it is an oblique looking tendon. But it's your uh, popliteus tendon. Popliteus. So you're gonna, you're gonna see that. You're gonna see that on the, uh, in your skull. And your meniscus is usually going to be more, it's going to be loose in that case. You're going to say, yeah, it feels a little bit more loose than everywhere else. That's normal. That's usually a normal finding. It doesn't mean there's a tape. Uh, and in the hiatus, you can find loose bodies that will hide as well. So, uh, so that's something you're, you're going to see. It's sort of a landmark for you. Uh, so you've looked at your meniscus, you're rotating. Um, a little tear there, it looks like. May, have been, may or may not have been treated by another surgeon who worked before you. Um, Typically, most of your tears that, that you're going to address uh, are going to be central or posterior, the posterior horn of the meniscus, uh, either medial or lateral. So you're going to see those uh, where, where we were kind of working back there. Uh, so now uh, you've looked at your lateral compartment. Now let's let's go. Uh, you're kind of heading towards your lateral gutter, so let's just go over there. This is where loose bodies can hide. You're going into uh, into the gutters, or it's going to be below this. In this case, it's some just. It is what it is. So, okay. so do I so, want to introduce my grabber first? Well, or? let's see where it's at and see what you need. That's what I, that's what I would like to say. There, there you go. So there's a little loose bodies probably coming from the cartilage maybe. Um, rough cartilage. Yeah. Okay. Now before you pull it out, you want to look your way, uh, look at uh, on your way out because uh, you want to make sure you have a good grasp on it because if you don't, then you, you, you're going to lose that in the soft tissue and then you can't, then it's just gone forever. So, um, so what you want to do is make sure you have a good grasp on it uh, and uh, at that point, so we use, there you go. 
Um, so I like that. So you're probably going to get that one out. So, nice. That was good. Okay. That's good. Good triangulation. Um, you used your, your uh, pituitary to sort of turn it. You 90 yeah. degreed it, and those are things you need to do. Um, sometimes when you're having trouble grasping a loose body, a good technique to do is you can always go to the notch as your home base. You can push it into the notch. It's going to be floating around. There's your medial compartment. That's a good view. I agree. Coming over your notch. Notch would be easy, right? Make sure you get a little more broad view like it. Not from there. Oh, yeah. So your options here would be to stay where you're at. I like you. You have a good view of it, but you got to be thinking now. Uh, do you have the tools and the angle to grab that? Don't because uh, you, you, it, the portal that we have, it's probably a little bit too low. You keep hitting your ACL and you hit your tibial spine. So coming over is going to be hard to get lateral. So you may want to switch your camera. Okay. Switch your angle. Do I switch and camera or can I go into one of the... Like, uh, you could. You could. You could try. But so here's the thing. Is if you're coming up here and you're trying to get ahead of very back, you're, yeah. you're going to be just banging into your permanent condo. Yeah, you don't have as much space as it looks like. Yeah. So switch. Yeah, so I would switch. You typically would use our trocar to, to introduce it, but that's okay. In this case, it's fine. But your soft tissue wouldn't allow you to do it. So let's get right with the world again. Now we're back. Okay. So now let's get our tool in here. Last one. You got options. Pit bull. I've heard of it in here. We don't know this yet, but it seems like it works. It's a little grass grass. Looks like it's pretty narrow. Yeah. So yeah, we got other other things. We got biters here. We got to use your assistant time to some distraction. Yeah, we could try. I'll just read. It's pretty straightforward. You just want just distraction at uh, yeah. Can you uh, distract uh, uh, some more various distractions? The joint to get into the spaces that you need to. The shoulder you don't have as much of that. Sometimes you'll have the shoulders helping you kind of manipulate ad hoc to distract. It's not as stable as the needle. I don't, I don't, uh, yeah. If you don't like that one, you can always stop and look at the image. Yeah, you can use different tools. In this case, maybe uh, maybe using different graphs, or maybe using your probe, your nerve probe, maybe putting that, uh, getting into a better position to grab it, too. Otherwise, it's going to get too posterior for you to grab it. So maybe get your hook around there, try to bring it into your... Oh, yeah. Confident uh, about your grasp? Try to so you grab here. That's probably a good idea. Well, you may get go. lucky, but it's gonna fly a little no, bit. All right. it's so you're you're pushing on to the right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just oh, the Some meniscus out. Yeah, exactly. That was that piece that was perfect. Yeah. My first meniscus. Yeah. 